good afternoon and good evening depends on your time my amazing beer from people lovers of freedom the little west and the middle belt and i welcome you back to omu biafra tv where we bring you the latest news concerning biafra movement to do the actualization as i welcome you please do me a favor and welcome those around you as i'm also asking you please if you're watching without smacking the red button i beg now make it do your sister a favor go ahead smack the red button click the notification bell so whenever we upload you people to get notified all right so we're going to present you a video please we're going to watch it with open mind remember biafra is our religion in biafra is where we stand that is what it means that either biafra or nothing and as I am asking you, please, in whatever you are doing, do not forget to be praying for the actualization and also for Mazenam the Kano. Yes, same. I will be worldwide. The entire world was a Nigerian freedom fighters all over the world because we're here to set the black race free. Okay? Come on in and let us watch with one mind. <laughs> Come, I got a solution to our problem. I didn't maybe solution to your line. At this time, we should encourage the charismatic renewal and whoever can pray in the spirit, not to rest, not to sleep, until the Lord redeemed this country. Did you not hear that yesterday the bandits entered into our? most secured place in this country nigerian defense academy nda the impenetrable camp in nigeria and they kill some of the nigerian military officers and people are saying talking about for them back and adoration And some Catholics are still attacking the worship of the Blessed Sacrament through adoration. The country is sinking. Just as I told them last time, the arrest of Unam the Kano, will it solve any problem? Will it stop any agitation? Now, the attack in the NDA, is it in Namdekana now? No. Okay. Is it not better he's released? Is it not better he's released? Yeah. Since he is still under their custody and NDA could be perforated, violated, and mesmerized. What is the hope of this country? If it can happen in Nigerian Defense Academy, where else is safe? As I told you people last two months, that what you are seeing is just the beginning of the trouble. That the main trouble is coming. This one that they did yesterday is just an elementary part of it. Too. The secondary school part of it is still coming. Elijah started digging around the altar. He didn't follow any method. God is not a Methodist. I am only asking God to intervene. Because what is happening in Afghanistan right now, if God is not ready to help us, Nigerian situation will be worse in the future. You are free to attack Farambaka and criticize me. That one is your problem. I am doing my prophetic work. And I don't need apology or affirmation or support or approval 
from anybody apart from the Holy Spirit who sent me on this risky assignment. Even if I want to stop it, I can't even stop it. If I ask you to release somebody and you don't want to, is that why you should begin to attack me? As for all, two people were arrested in the foreign country. Sunday, Ibuho was arrested. Namdekan was arrested. Sunday was released down there. Namde was brought into Nigeria. Uh, now, let me ask you a question. Are you not imagining the velocity of what is going to happen in this country? If the entire men of God, prophets of God, real prophets, will not stand with Elijah to give assignment to the prophets of Baal, if the prophets of Baal did not experience the power of the Elohim, if they didn't experience the action of the Adonai, they will kill Elijah. But they saw that there is God who resides on his altar. Look at it. During the Niger Delta attack, many of them were arrested and given amnesty. But the nature of their amnesty was they were trained in several jobs and given money. Federal government was giving them money, which is so wonderful. God will bless them. But now, none of them was put into the army. When the Boko Haram people were arrested, about how many of them? Many. They were arrested and they were given amnesty and put into Nigerian army. They are in the army right now. The same government that says she is fighting insecurity. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.